Hi guys. It's Tuesday evening. Well, what there is left of it. <laughs> uh, what a day. It's been a productive day. But I'm knackered. <laughs> uh, I've got the mudguard, or a mudguard fitted to that lady's bike, and she picked it up this afternoon. She seems happy with it. Mmm, sleep it out. Yeah. Um, what else? The green lady's bike, that's done. And up on Gumtree. Uh, I've got two items I've listed on eBay, so I've now got three on there in total. And I've had an email from eBay saying that my uh, seller standard is improving. I just want it to improve so I don't have these poxy restrictions. Anyway. <laughs> um, and I put the giant up. That's going to be hopefully purchased tomorrow night. I just got to change the tyres on it, that's all. And uh, bust the padlock off that's locking it to the railings on the landing because uh, I've lost the bloody key to the padlock. But that's alright, I know how to break that sort of padlock off. <laughs> uh, so I'll sit and uh, I'll do that tomorrow. I was just debating whether to take the reflectors off. Cause I might. I know I'll need a pair for, um, or at least a rear one for the Saracen. Uh, I think the next one to do. When I've sorted out the rear brake, because the cable has seized for some reason, is the Schwinn. As much as I'd like to keep it, I think it needs to go. Because I haven't got the room. And I'm sort of... Well, I haven't got the room. I need a bit of cash, so... I might give it a couple of days, though. Because I've got that ladies' one. But yeah, it'll give me a bit of extra room in that shed. And I've still got one over at Mum's. All being well, I'll be going to... Uh, Cat's Custom Trikes Friday and I'll take her racing bike and the stereo with me and my bike so I can get home uh, so as early as I can um, as early as mum can take me over there would be helpful because uh, days are getting shorter now so we don't have much daylight Uh, yeah, I've got that electric razor up on eBay. I had a quick look, and there's lots of others that were up there for buy it now for a lot more than what I put mine up. So, and I am open to offers on it. I did put a best offer on it, so we'll see. But we'll see. Sort. Of that's the other thing I was doing. Sort through that box of stems and whatnot in there, and I've got this bunch up here to sort through. I want to get this one up next because I think that one will sell. That one is still up there. Out of all the other bike parts that I've I listed and sold, that's the only one that hasn't yet. I think this one will. I've just got to put a bolt through there. Uh, which I know I've got plenty of, so I'll do that. I'll do that tomorrow, I think. I've got a package down there. That was the last pair of brake calipers I had listed up there. And I've listed a pair... Yeah, I listed a pair of brake calipers today. I've got uh, three pairs in this tub under here to sort through as well. Uh, what else? 
Oh yeah. Here's that rear light that came with the Saracen. It's got uh, lasers um, things underneath. So uh, when I hit the laser button, you get those laser lines that shine down on the road and supposed to make you a bit more visible. Now, for some reason, this camera will not see them on a dark surface. But if I put it on this white surface, look, the camera picks them up easy. Especially if I shadow it. And you can have it in flash mode. The only disadvantage is lasers have this habit of a really draining battery, so your batteries ain't going to last very long. But it's got LED feature as well, and I've actually uh, lined up the LEDs with the three little sort of lenses, dots or whatever you want to call them on there. little light and the front one <laughs> that is super bright this thing let me just uh, plug it in there we go it's just a simple plug like that and that cap there where my finger is or in front of my finger again. That cap that's just shot down the cable actually screws on there to create a watertight um, connection. It's got a battery charge indicator on the back here. You press the button once and that's what you get. Press it again, it goes even brighter. And again, <laughs> well yeah as you can see that is actually getting pretty bright. And this is one of the few lights that I have yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't recommend shining that in your eyes to see how bright it is. I haven't done it, and I don't intend to. So yeah, I've just got to find that um, rubber elastic-y thing. I go over those hooks. I know I've got them. So yeah, I've had quite a busy day. I've got the Saracen adjusted to my liking now. And that stupid rear mudguard is, has been taken off. Uh, so I don't know whether to take that one Friday or whether to take Claude. I haven't decided. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll decide that later. And here we go. Those are all circuit boards out of those in-car phone chargers. So, 12 volts goes in this end, and 5 volts come out this end. So you can charge your phone. But, uh... They're all the same shape, but, uh... There is some differences, like the colour of the board, and that's a browny colour, that's a green one. This bit is different on some of them as well. Pardon me. Little LED indicator. Well, I just thought I probably could make use of these charging circuits. Blob. It's just weird because these ones have got a lot more in the way of like capacitors and things on them. Actually, this has got a lot more on it than this one. This just doesn't seem to have a great deal on it. I can see one diode. I no two diodes, four resistors, one LED, three capacitors. Some kind of IC right in the middle there. Yes, yeah, got I can see UTC. Oh, no, I need a magnifying glass. And two, what look like some sort of coils, and that is it on that one. That one's got the two coils. 
This has got a couple of diodes right at the top there. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, five capacitors on that one. And I can only see three resistors. Actually, something on the surface mount down there as well. Nothing on that side. I'm sure I'll find a use for when it chuck these in my electronics box. <sighs> Not a lot's been talked about on Facebook today. Apart from there's some roadworks in town on one of the main roads in and out of town. Um they're having to close the road I believe they're just closing it during the day they're resurfacing the road and it's supposed to be for five days well three days now because two days have already gone but uh, it seems to be causing a bit of chaos because there's uh, temporary traffic lights on one of the other main roads in and out of town and uh, because of these roadworks where the road's closed on the other side of town <laughs> the diverted route is taking them down a third main road in and out of town so people have been complaining about that the volume of traffic but what can you do as someone said you know if they hadn't re or if they didn't repair the roads and resurface them, people would be bitching and moaning because the roads are in such a state. But as soon as they do, and they think, right, we'll get these road surfaces done, people fucking you know, just People have got to moan about everything these days, or at least in this town. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. It's roadworks. I think the only thing that was annoying is the fact that they timed both sets of road works badly which is very often because actually yesterday was a nightmare around town because there was also temporary traffic lights just around the corner from me because uh, UK power networks were doing something they're gone now they weren't there today so but uh, yeah <laughs> Well, that really that was causing tailbacks to go all the way around back here and through the town and whatnot. That was a nightmare. But I'm guessing that was some sort of emergency work for UK Power Networks. Because <clears throat> um, you can't just come along and dig the road up. You, if you have to close a road for roadworks, you have to get the authority to do it from the highways department at the county council. Um, I do believe they charge. I do believe they charge you to close the road. Because <coughs> um, when they have the street market, they have to close the road they charge the town council and when they have the switching on of the lights they obviously have to close the town centre so the Christmas lights that is they get charged and I know from, <laughs> I know from roadworks that they have to uh, I don't know if they actually have to get permission to dig the road up loose bit of skin on my lip annoying anyway um, so yeah badly timed by the highways department but uh, the person that was complaining about the traffic being diverted down their road one this person complaining lives on a busy main road in and out of town as I said you know it's one of the main arteries in and out of town and uh, two 
there isn't really anywhere else to divert the traffic. There's one other route they could be diverted down, but it's only suitable for one car for single file traffic. So it really isn't suit a suitable diversion. And uh, I'm pretty certain that when they do these uh, diversions, that they have to divert them down the most suitable route possible. Which, uh, in this case, would be the road that they are complaining about. <laughs> <coughs> I think that's the thing with the council, you know. They're damned if they do, and they're damned if they don't. <laughs> but as I say, you can't please everyone all the time. There is a proper saying there somewhere, and I can't remember how it goes. You know, you can please some of the people some of the time, or something like that. One of these math things, right? He said 60, but it's not, it's 70. One, two, three bowls equal 30. 10, 20, 30. So they got the value of 10. One bowl plus two burgers here, so it's one bowl plus a burger plus a burger equals 20. So, logically, it'd be 10 plus 5 plus 5. So the burger's got the value of 5, right? Now he said the pi... Oh, yeah. No, I've just seen just seen what he meant. I didn't see it first time. There's two pint glasses, look. Which means these have one. So he is right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that would be right, you know, 5 plus 1 is 6 times 10 is 60, yeah. Duh! <laughs> Helps to look at the pictures correctly. For some reason, when I first saw this earlier, I only saw one pint glass and one pint glass. So I was like, you know, five plus two plus two is nine. <laughs> Ugh. I am getting tired, though. That's going to be my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> right. I'm going to turn the camera down. Apparently you can get locks for your bottles now, look. But they're plastic. And I can guarantee I can get that off there. I bet I could actually break that off there without breaking the bottle.
Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off because I've rambled on enough. The fuck is that? Oh, it's an electric, electrified knuckle duster. Okay. for watching. I'm going to get this video up onto the PC and onto YouTube. I heard him. Where is he? Where did he go? Oh, he ran off. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.